First tonight, heavy winds caused problems across many parts of north central Montana. Throughout the day, we have several updates you will want to hear about. This is video from a wildland fire near Browning. Blackfeet Tribe Public Information Officer James McNeely says the fire is just west of the community of Blackfoot. All residents of that area were asked to evacuate earlier today. They said if you need a place to go, the Browning Middle School gym was open. As of about 7.30, the fire was about 60% contained and had burned 25,000 acres. We also learned that the fire damaged some light poles, so some areas of the reservation may be experiencing power outages. The Blackfeet Tribal Business Council actually declared a state of emergency a few hours ago. Also, Highway 87 between Great Falls and Fort Benton was closed until about 3.30 this afternoon. The wind was kicking up dust and dirt, causing very poor visibility. The Montana Highway Patrol reports there are numerous crashes. At this point, though, no serious injuries were reported. A high wind warning is in effect for much of the region until Monday morning. With more on that, we welcome in meteorologist Ed McIntosh. Hey, Ed. A very strong cold front is moving across the region tonight, creating some showers across areas of northwest Montana, and that line will move from west to east. So after a warm day today, that front will move through the region during the evening and overnight hours and continue to create some strong winds, even as it starts to pull into the plains for tomorrow. Most of the temperatures are going to be very slow to recover. In fact, most of the readings will be cooler than average. And by the time we start getting into Tuesday morning, we could have some pretty chilly readings. So here's the setup for us as we go through tonight. We'll be looking at sustained winds of 35, 45, maybe 50 miles an hour close to the front. Top wind gust could hit over 70 miles per hour. The potential for wind damage includes uh, power outages and perhaps some downed tree limbs. Also looking at the poor visibility around some of these storms. We could get some snow squalls tonight through early tomorrow morning, especially in some of the valleys of southwest Montana. 